Hey guys, Irene here and we're doing another behind the scene video today. If you haven't seen my previous one, you can click right over here and I will also insert the link in the bar down below. The day of the photo shoot I actually had a totally, totally different idea and we were supposed to use some disco balls to like project the light on the model and it totally did not work out and I have some super crappy pictures from where I was trying it out I'll insert them so you guys can see how bad it was actually turning out and you know it's okay because this happens to everyone and it can happen to everyone if you do a photo shoot and you have something in your mind and then you take a picture it just doesn't relate to it on the screen is just something that all of us have to deal with and the way you deal with it is you don't get discouraged and you come up with other ideas and yeah you just go from there because yeah this was super crappy and people think that like all of my pictures come out very good but sometimes you just it's not working out so then I was thinking okay this is definitely really really bad so you have to do something else because my model is here and you have to go on with this photo shoot and you know it's Christmas time right now so I have so many uh, Christmas lights and decorations just laying around my basement and I thought why not use them and this sparked the idea of the cloud of an electric cloud that's what I called it so I used the lights underneath um, the dress that she was wearing and it was a huge wedding dress with a lot of layers and then on top I put the synthetic little cloud cotton pieces and it kind of it was illuminating from the um, the underneath of the dress with the Christmas lights and then it was coming through the cotton and the layers of the dress just so perfectly and beautifully and I was like yeah this is this is awesome this is definitely working out so yeah as you guys can see I'll, sh I'll insert some clips of the actual behind the scenes I was just taking them um, I was just taking these like little branches that had little lights on them and placing them underneath the dress and then she was kind of laying on top of her dress and then on top of that all I was just placing some of the cotton and creating a seamless cloud and I was also covering all the little cords and just black pieces of you know the lights to cover them with the material and the synthetic oh, synthetic um, cloud cotton thingy and if you guys are interested, you know, I use this cloud thing like a lot and I also have another video on how to use them to make actual real clouds and I'll insert it down below as well if you're interested in that. For the camera, I was using my 5D Mark III and the lens is Sigma 35mm. I wish I could use my 85 uh, Canon lens but because I wanted to shoot quite wide and I don't have as much space in my basement studio I had to shoot with the wider lens but it came out really great and I'm really happy with the pictures I hope you guys like this idea and I hope you try it out. I mean anyone can do it. The Christmas lights that I used are extremely cheap. You can even buy them at the dollar store. And then if you don't have the, the cotton you can always just sacrifice your old stuffed animal or pillow or anything like that. And then you know you can use it multiple times after. That's pretty much what I did. I sacrificed my old stuffed sheep animal to get the the cotton out and if you do try out this idea please make sure to tag me on Instagram on send me the pictures to my Facebook page uh, and all the links will be down below as usual so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and make sure you comment what you would like to see next don't forget to subscribe to not miss my uh, other videos and I'll see you guys later bye bye